Yes guys, welcome back to another video and you're probably thinking, where the hell am I? And to be honest, I'm kind of thinking the same thing, but we've got something very special today to show you and it's been a long time coming, but yeah, you guys all knew that it would be here eventually. So today's the day, I should probably show you what I'm doing here and uh, what we're gonna show you today. So yeah, it's very surprising. Um, a lot of you might be quite shocked some of you might be like, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen at one point, but uh, no, I'm not copying Shed Tune before anyone asks. Yeah, I've actually had this plan for a very long time. Without further ado, let's just show you what it is. I also just wanna say a massive thank you uh, for the recent support on my channel. Obviously, I went to Weymouth recently and that's almost at 3,000 views, so thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And also subscribers as well. We are currently at, I believe, 955 now. So yeah, amazing um, sort of achievement. So yeah, we're on the push for a thousand guys. Thank you so much for the support. If you could uh, subscribe if you haven't already and share my channel with friends, that would be great. Yeah, anyway, I'm stalling, but I'm excited. So uh, let's show you what it is. Here it is guys, the brand new bike of the channel, the project bike. As you can see, we've even, we've even got the shirt on today. Obviously not a Lambert shirt, what we're doing, I know. But you know what, I love Vespers as well. And I thought what would be interesting is to get a project a driving project, a riding project, because obviously the condition's pretty good, so you can actually ride it. Obviously, I've ridden it here. But yeah, I just thought, why not? A Vespa. I love Vespas. My dream bike is actually an SS90, believe it or not, even though I've got a Lambretta. But yeah, anyway, I don't hate on Vespa. I love them as well. So this is a PX150. Let's do a little walk around and uh, tell you a bit about it. So yeah, this is a PX150. Um, and believe it or not, it's actually a 2015, one of the last ones that they produced. It's in like a frost white, it's a 150cc engine. On a day like today, it looks amazing. And I tell you what, you can't beat the simple style and look of a Vespa PX. It is just an absolute classic, always will be a classic. Yeah, so let me show you some of the parts of it. And yeah, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically talk a bit about the bike. Um, I will do a ride at one point, I've got my mic coming. Um, that I'll put into my helmet so we'll be able to do a little ride on it. I'll tell you guys what it's like to ride. But yeah, we're going to talk you through the plans that I've got for it. Probably some of the rallies you might take it on. Yeah, of course, this is a channel bike. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you think would look cool or you'd like to see done to it or what we do with it, then yeah, please obviously don't forget to comment down below. But yeah, let's talk you around it and uh, sort of my plans to do for it. And actually we've already got some upgrades for it. We've already got some modifications. That'll be the second video after this one actually. So yeah, we're not gonna cram it all in one video. We've got some mods already that I'm um, planning to do to it, uh, which will obviously be the next video. This is gonna be a bit like a series. So we're gonna have, you know, episode one, episode two, episode three, because it's gonna be a long-term project basically. It's not gonna be a quick get together to get it on the road like the Lambretta was. You'll see the full transformation of this bike. So yeah. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, watch the space because there'll be plenty of videos coming. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the journey. But let's anyway, let's talk around the bike. Okay, so at the moment, it's obviously uh, a standard PX150, like completely standard. We bought it, actually, well, we bought it like this, but it did have, I'll insert a few pictures now of uh, what it actually had on it before, which we had to quickly get off because it was quite hideous. Um, but yeah. So as you can see, standard PX150 with the locking seat. Obviously the fuel as well. You've got a separate fuel and oil mix, which is obviously very helpful. Next, we uh, I'll show you what we had before, but we had a bit of a plate behind here holding this on, but it was so chunky, it stuck out to about there. So we were like, nah, fuck that. So we took that off. Um, so yeah, obviously it's got standard wheels at the moment and tires, obviously looks well, it's rideable, it's, you know, it's more than safe, but it's a bit rusted up. Could do with a little touch up. And uh, what tires are we running at the moment? We're running Michelin S1s, which any of you that have been in the scene for a while would know that uh, they seem to last a long time, but never wear. And that's not a good thing, because tires are meant to wear. So uh, yeah, it's made out of probably the hardest rubber you could probably get, meaning the grips, not very good. So we're definitely replacing them, because <laughs> that's a death trap front wheel I love the front wheel alloy it's very nice obviously we've got the disc brake as well for safety but as you can see 
the shop could do with the replacing and the forks being redone. But again, these are all obviously future upgrades and stuff we can do. Standard brake caliper, of course. I know SIP do, do a nice one. We've got a few dodgy bits with this bike. Obviously, look, we've got a completely rusted front mug guard, which uh, could do with being replaced. And yeah, with the back here, that little chip there, basically the suspension obviously is um, bolted in at the top and it was actually loose. So it was just knocking against the actual frame of the bike, hence why that, why that mark is there. So that's not very good. Yeah, so headset, we've obviously got the Vespa grips, quite modern looking grips. Obviously it's one of the last ones they put on. Standard brake lever. And uh, we've obviously got the Speedo with a fuel gauge, which is very helpful. We've got indicators as well, which do actually work. So it's a four speed. Um, yeah, quite a nice headset. It's very comfortable to ride, especially this seat. Down here, we've got the Vespa on the on the sort of the mat, the floor mat or floor rubber, which is quite nice. I know a lot of them don't have that. I'm, I'm pretty sure, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Completely standard engine at the moment. Looking to upgrade that, of course, we need to tune it. We can't leave it being a standard 150 because uh, that's no fun. And we like performance, do we not? But look, we've got a flipping glove box. Obviously, slight bit of rust there, but glove box. That's helpful, obviously enormous compared to the Ambretta glove boxes. So that's a massive positive. We've got a wheel jack very helpful of course uh, maybe that's a little hint for what we've got to do later um, locking as well which is very good obviously there's a bit a few rusty bits everywhere but you know it's a project that was the point of this bike for it to be a project and to you know sort of transform it and restore it and upgrade it you know everything like that so what else is there to talk about should we take the panels off I think we should take the panels off so let's let's do that now okay so of course the panels slightly different to Lambrettas. They get taken off with these little things here under the under the seat. So it lifts off quite easily. You've got to give it a bit of a wriggle. There we go. Panel off, as you can see. So if we just pop that down and have a look what we've got in here. So uh, yeah, of course, um, the 2015 PX comes with a battery. Did actually have a spare wheel on there. And we decided to take that off. See, oh, there we go. You can see a bit more of the sort of the rust and the stuff that we've got to do to it and the the challenge. Um, we've got a standard box pipe. Actually, we've got a big upgrade coming soon for that. We're not going mental to start with. We're going to take it a bit uh, cautiously. You know, we've got two very extreme bikes at the moment, so uh, yeah, we need to be a bit more sensible. So yeah, but a video will be coming soon on that. A very interesting video actually. So if you guys want to stay tuned, please turn that bell notification on so you don't miss that video because uh, it should be a good one. It should be a good one. So as we can see, standard engine, engine casing, everything. Oh yeah, we did actually have to get, obviously the carburetors inside of here and there was a hole in it where the thing was welded on. So we did actually have already upgraded that um, to one, well, it's not an upgrade, it's just a, a must need mend because there was a big hole in there. Obviously the carburetor was, had a leak, which is not good. Should we start it up? I think we should start it up. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. And that's a quick run, run around of the bike. So now I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of sort of the plans that I'm thinking of doing to it. So uh, let's go. So number one, obviously will be replacing this front mud guard because it's very rusty. And uh, I'm not a rust sort of person, <laughs> as you may know, because I've got a, a purple sparkling metallic Ambretta. 
yeah but some people like the rust look but uh it's not my cup of tea really okay so next up we've got obviously the front tires and wheel rims looking at replacing them as well um, as well as the disc brake and uh getting the forks redone definitely new suspension um because that would i think just completely transform the front end as you guys know from the caster disc brake the stuff that we did to the lambretta transform the front end now it looks absolutely incredible so round here maybe uh getting new grips obviously we will keep these parts or we'll sell them because none of none of this stuff will go in the bin because it's genuine authentic vespa parts as well we need to look after them i like the speedo so we'll probably keep that standard probably keeping probably going to keep a lot of the headset standard maybe replace or touch up some of these parts. I'm looking to get a new seat. Obviously this one's lost the strap and uh, it's very high up. It is comfortable, but it's just very high up and I like to sit a bit lower. I'm gonna keep the paintwork white because I think, well, it just looks great in white, especially on a day like today. Yeah, white can match with any other color, so yeah. So yeah, definitely going to be uh, tuning or maybe even fitting a brand new engine because um, uh, like I said earlier, for performance, we all like performance. And obviously the same with the back, the back wheel, gonna be getting new tires and new rims and definitely sorting out this brake hub. And most importantly, and uh, which probably will be the first video, will be exhaust. Again, we're not going crazy for the first exhaust, but this one is uh, gonna be a good little comparison of that exhaust, of course, and I just thought, you know, nice little video and it will be a bit different. And I feel like you guys would probably appreciate that a lot. Uh, enjoy watching it. So that's the plan. So at the moment, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Yeah, obviously, again, a few touch ups. But again, this bike is completely rideable. It's completely safe. It's completely legal. So uh, yeah, it's not it's not an off the road project. It's on road project. Uh, we're just going to be transforming it and doing it up to make it to make it our own like the whole point of a scooter is to be your own your your taste everything so, yeah so i think we're gonna go for a quick ride now I obviously haven't got my helmet mic yet but that'll be in the next video and when i get my helmet mic and obviously when i change the part on there that'll be the reason why i'll need my helmet mic so yeah but uh, apart from that guys what do you guys think so far obviously a new bike very exciting gonna be gonna be making lots of videos uh, I've already said this, I know, so cut. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. It's very sunny. What a beautiful day, though. Can we just, like, come on. It's summertime. Where has this been for the last, like, two months? Absolutely gorgeous. If you did enjoy the video please like and subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss any updates with the project or any parts that we fit or do and of course me riding it as well so uh yeah hope you guys did enjoy please like the video please subscribe thank you for all the support on my channel if we can get to a thousand subscribers by the end of august if we can do that guys i'll have to do something big i'll have to make a big video but um of course thanks for all the support anyway and uh yeah have a nice day, guys. Enjoy the sun while it's still out because it probably won't be soon. But yeah, enjoy, guys. Have a nice day.